Hey, what's going on guys? Dope Spawner here, and I figured I'd make a quick little uh, video here to basically go over um, flashing the Arduino and also a look at Marlin and more specifically I'm um, looking at my settings for uh, my RAMPS 1.4 conversion and my DaVinci printer. Um, so I figured I'd be able to kind of do multiple things with this video here. So So um, basically for those of you that um, have a Arduino or are doing like a ramps board and need to flash the Arduino, um, you're going to want to go and download the Arduino software from their website. Um, I'll try to link you guys in the description, but basically as of right now, the latest update is uh, Arduino 1.6.7. Um, you'll also need to go over to the uh, GitHub respiratory and download the Marlin uh, software uh, or you know firmware and um, I can again do my best to link you guys in the description of this video to that um, so yeah once you do that you're just basically going to go under um, Arduino open up the software and open up I already have it open but um so for me it's on my desktop I have my Marlin RC firmware which is the folder you'll get when you download it you want to go into Marlin and then I open up the configuration H file which is the one that you'll be editing for um, you know your printer so go ahead and open that up uh, again I'm gonna close mine because I literally have it right here I don't need to have two windows of the same thing open so we'll do that and then in terms of when you are going to um, flash it to your Arduino which you're not going to do yet obviously but uh, basically want to go under board choose your board which more than likely it's going to be the oh, come on the Arduino uh, Mega which I already have selected here and then the port um, that'll vary depending on which port you have it plugged in on your computer but hopefully it'll pop up under your serial ports mine as you can see is COM3 so anyways so let's take a look at again this is the configuration H file if for some reason you open up Marlin and it doesn't specif uh, specifically show that it should be up here or if you go all the way to this arrow on the right side and you click that it'll list all of the files um, within so just again click configuration H so luckily um, I personally am not, um, I don't understand coding really at all, um, but with Marlin, um, they do a fantastic job of documentation within the firmware to, in, you know, regular English, so that way you can understand basically what's going on here. So again, I'll kind of just walk you through some of the stuff you're going to probably need to change. Um, this is specifically for my DaVinci 1.4. I mean DaVinci on uh, RAMPS 1.4 build, however, um, it'll be similar depending on what kind of printer you're building using the RAMPS board. You'll just obviously have to change out, um, uh, change it out depending on, you know, what your board requires and uh, what your printer requires. So let's go ahead and go down. So basically serial port um, doesn't really matter. Um, for me at least, I left that completely blank. Baud rate by default was at 250,000. Um, that's fine. I left that there completely. So board motherboard 33. That is what I um, use for my RAMS 1.4 board, and that's probably what you're going to want to use. However, um, if you have a different board you're using um, in combination with the Arduino, all you have to do is go over here, and there will be a file. Uh, it should be down here somewhere. Board. Hmm. Why do I not see you? Oh, boards. There we go. Board study. So you click that, and it will give you a list of the different ones. So again, 33 is what I'm using, which it says is RAMPS 1.3, um, but that actually worked completely fine for mine. So I don't know. The true one should be RAMPS 1.4 um, extruder fan in bed, which would be board number 43. But again, I don't know why 1.3 worked completely fine for mine, so I'm not going to mess with that at all. But again, you have your list of compatible boards um, right here, so you just basically find the number, go back over to configuration H and type motherboard and whatever number that is right there. So pretty simple. Um, then right here, obviously, again, it's, I'm basically just baby stepping you guys through this. Um, if you just go through this and really read it all, um, it does explain it, but some of it kind of is a little complicated or a little hard to understand. So again, hopefully this helps some of you guys by kind of baby stepping you through it. Um, this right here basically is, again, if you have an LCD screen for your RepRap, um, it'll like name your 3D printer because like if you're doing a custom rep rep you can name it whatever you want I left it by default 3D printer I don't have a screen currently um, on my DaVinci so I don't really care um, so you can leave that uh, number of extruders pretty, pretty self-explanatory DaVinci I'm rocking one um, which I'm sure most of you will be too 
Um, following is for power supply. Um, power supply 1 is the default, which is ATX. Um, you can also use an Xbox 360 power supply, which I don't think very many of you will be using, so um, 1 should be fine for pretty much all you guys. Um, so then you've got the thermistor or thermal settings, um, which personally I can't help you too much with the thermistor settings. I um, chose, let's see, I chose 1. Um, which is again, it's the 100K, 4.7K EPCOS. That is, I want to say that's pretty much going to be the standard thermistor. Um, so hopefully that'll work for you. Um, if that does not work, then you might have to do a little bit more digging um, because again, you've got these are your different options that you can put for your thermistor. Um, but again, mine one was the correct option. And uh, the DaVinci, you have one in the uh, temp sensor, which is going to be the uh, extruder. And then you're going to want to make sure you put one for the bed as well because you have one in the bed. So just be sure to do that. Um, left that. I didn't touch any of this. Um, this was all default too. Didn't mess with that. I left my max temp at 275 for the extruder. So if it hits over that, then it will um, basically, I believe, cut off the machine. Yeah, your heater will be switched off. Just a safety measure. Um, good to have. I mean, depending on your hot end or your extruder, maybe that'll be a little higher, a little less. I believe my extruder can reach some pretty extreme temperatures. That was like one of the big selling points on it, but uh, I have no need to, so I figured what the hell, I'll leave that on for now. Same applies for the bed. 150 is my max, which I, in my opinion, that's way hotter than what I'd ever really need to run it at, but um, again, I left it there for now. So those are, you know, some settings you might need to edit depending on what you're doing. Um, let's see, I left all of this exactly the same. Bed temperature control. Um, trying to see here if I did any customization with this. No, I didn't. I left all that the same. So that's still this is all thermal stuff. Um, this is just basically enable thermal protection for all shooters and hotbeds. So by default, it looks like they are active. So again, I left all that. I left all that. There's a lot of stuff you don't really have to edit at all. Um, all this stuff. So basically, also too, if you don't know, if there's something you want to enable, like um, if I wanted to enable define core X Y, these two forward slashes basically um, annex out that code. So if you were to backspace it, as you can see now, that's dark, which basically means that it um, is now enabled. So if I do double, it's it's grayed out again, and basically means that that setting on that line of code is not being applied. Um, next, you basically want to choose whether you are, um, you're going to have to use your end stops. So for me, um, I'm only using three. I'm only using them for the um, minimum end stops. So again, all you do, there'll be two, two little forward slashes in front of them. You just basically um, remove them and it'll activate them. So as you can see, the max for the X, Y, and Z is grayed out and the minimum for the X, Y, and Z is currently active because that is what I'm using. Then right here, um, it says mechanical end stop with com to ground and NC signal uses false here. So from what I uh, set true to invert the logic of the end stop, on this one right here, I cannot really remember if this affects the direction of your motor. Um, I, I can't remember if this affects the your motor, like basically with the... Um, uh, with the stepper motors, you can wire them in potentially backwards, and what that does is it won't necessarily short it out, but it'll make the direction go incorrectly on it, and if that's the case, I believe that by setting this um, setting this to sw switching it, so if it's false then true, or true then false, it will invert that. Um, I am quite sure that's what that does. Um, the only other thing I could think of that this would do would be basically um, like when it hits the end stop, instead of having it go back the other direction that maybe it would keep it going into the end stop but I believe that this just actually um, I believe this actually just inverts the direction of the axis like which direction it's heading in so if anyone knows that please comment in the you know uh, comments down below so that way I can hopefully give you guys correct information again I am no expert with this stuff um, I mean I'm really passionate about 3d printing but I'm still somewhat relatively new to it all so um, I definitely would say I've done enough digging to know quite a lot more than just you know a beginner person but still um, I don't know that everything um, that I'm saying is a hundred percent factual or hundred percent accurate so I'm doing my best for you guys um, let's see I left all of this left all this um, 
left that. Ah, so I was wrong. I'm sorry, guys. So this is actually where you invert the direction. Um, so what I said over here, I'm not actually too positive as to what this does. Um, so you might have to mess with that and see what that does or someone comment down below. But this is actually um, where you invert the direction of the end stop. So I had one of them or two of them wired backwards because um, it was going the wrong way and so you can either um, physically go and swap out the wires and make it go the correct direction or for me it was easier just to mess with the software um, less chance of damaging something versus actually messing with uh, pins and wiring so I just edited it right there um, this is also same goes for the uh, extruder if you wired it in backwards which um, I did not do so if they're all false you'd only have to mess with E0 which is going to be if you have a single extruder, then uh, dual extruder, triple, and I guess quad extruder, which I don't know who the hell has quad extruders, but anyways. Um, then right here, you choose the um, direction when the end stop is, or when the uh, printer is homing. So again, I only did minimum end stops, and it's going to be when they're homing, going towards the minimum direction. So negative one is what you want to put for all those right here. Um, in terms of travel limits, um, the Da Vinci has a 200 by 200 by 200 build area, so that is what that is right there. However, um, because my X um, mechanical switch is, so let's say, I'm just trying to think of the best way that I could do this for you guys. Let's let's open up some Photoshop here. Actually, let me do. Some. Okay, so let's say we have got this. Um, this will work. So we've got our X and we've got our Y axis, okay? So for me, the Y end stop is right here, okay? So it hits and it's right at the beginning of the bed. However, my X end stop, because I installed mechanical one and I had to kind of do my own rig of a, um, a holder for them, is way out here. So if I were to put the X minimum, I mean X max build area is 200, it's got this gap right here so it's only going to be able to print to about this part on the bed it'll stop it'll go all the way over here and it'll stop right here thinking that that's the end of the bed so basically I did um, I, I did some I guess math or I checked in my um, repetitor host program and saw that there was about a 30 millimeter gap right here so all I did was um, under my Arduino software under the X minimum I put negative 30 saying that it doesn't truly start the 0 to 200 until it hits the corner of the build area. So hopefully that makes sense. Um, that actually took me a little bit to figure out. It was kind of frustrating because um, I couldn't get the, the prints to be centered and I was printing out something that took the whole length of the bed and uh, obviously it was printing off the side of the bed or not working because of that. So make sure you do that. Um, I don't know if there's actually anything else that I mess with. Filament, I don't have the sensor. Manual bed leveling, I didn't mess with. Bed auto leveling, I didn't mess with. Um, let me see if there's anything else in here truly that I have to mess with. Additional features I didn't mess with. No, that's really it, guys. Um, I mean, obviously, there's a lot more stuff depending on what you're doing. But um, for the Arduino um, ramps 1.4, for your basic or general install, and again, if you're doing like the um, uh, DaVinci conversion that is all you're gonna have to do and again once you're done basically um, once you're done with all your edits all you're going to do is hit verify basically down here it'll say compiling sketch <clears throat> which shouldn't take too too long here basically it's just checking to make sure that all your codes accurate and there's nothing messed up so done compiling beautiful then you would hit upload right here um, and again as long as your port is selected and the correct board is selected it'll upload um, if you've got any errors, it'll give you um, error log down here, and it's pretty good about telling you exactly like where in the code you screwed up. Um, but as long as you, <clears throat> as long as you don't uncomment like things that don't need to be uncommented, you shouldn't have any issues. I mean, the code is used by you know thousands upon thousands of tens of thousands, hundreds of thousands. I don't know how many people use Marlin, but it, the software or the firmware code it, it works. So, anyways, if you guys have any other questions, feel free to let me know. Um, I really hope this helps a lot of you guys out because I get a ton of questions from you guys on, it seems like mostly just this um, Marlin part, which um, to me wasn't too, too difficult. Again, with the exception of um, the end stop direction and getting it to actually be able to use my whole bed uh, area. And I will do my best also to upload my actual version of this um, 
for you guys if you want to use this for your conversion. Um, again, the only things you'll have to change definitely, um, you're probably going to have to mess with the direction of the motors um, because again, mine, I'm wired in like one backwards and you also are going to have to mess with, let's see if I can find this right here. I'm sure your mechanical uh, end stop or your end stop won't be exactly negative 30 off. So you'll have to either zero that out or adjust it according to whatever you need. So um, anyways, I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like and uh, subscribe for more great videos, man. Dope Swanner, and I am out. Peace, guys.